I don't think this song does it justice. Does this look right? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I've got the Nut V4, I think it's supposed to be called, Noam uh, set up here. It's a Bluetooth module with a four channel amp and then two of these bullet speakers. And from what I'm seeing other people doing on their carts, they're putting the, uh, you know, the sound bars up here at the top, they're hooking something over here to this side rail. And what I really want is something that can both integrate sort of with the, uh, the, the existing audio system setup, but also something that I would really want to see those speakers right here next to the driver's side and the passenger side. Just those nice little bullet speakers right there, all aerodynamic. And, and then mine would then also, because I've got those nice little kicker speakers right here. Uh, so hopefully it'll have two channels right here. We'll have two channels right here, right and the left, and really just sending that music back to everybody. So let's take a look inside the box, see what's going on here. Instructions, contents. Can't believe that finally worked well for once. All right, wow, that is a really nice bag to throw in the trash. So here's the speakers right here. Going to have to do something to kind of fill that hole in. Let me see how well this fits. There's going to be a lot of extra room to take up in here, but uh, I think we'll manage just fine. Let's go ahead and see what's under box lid number two. Uh, some kind of bullet plugs, wires, wires, wires. And then there's the uh, no AM module right there. And in box number two, we had, oh, we didn't even get to cut it open. The all important amplifier. Dear user, please read this before something or other. <laughs> and it looks like we've got some, I don't even know what this is. We've got thingies and it smells funny. And we've got more wires. And just because I'm curious for what these uh, smelly rubber things are, let's take a look at the instructions real quick to see. You plug wires in, this here. Ah, there we go, pads, rubber pads. Interesting. So these probably get wrapped around the, uh, the tube bars to help grab onto it and suck up the extra room. That's, that's a lot of them, but we may have to come up with something else just to help uh, fill in the blanks. Dan, something else good to know is that channels one and three are the right channels and two and four are the left channels. So there won't be a front and a back, just a right and a left. So here's a rough fit of how it's roughly going to look. That's why it's a rough look. And from the other side, it'll be about like this. And I'm questioning how much I really like that look. Uh, not so much for the bullet part, but for the uh, where the speaker connections are. That means they're just going to be hanging out out there, and I don't, I just don't know how that's going to look. Uh, I'm going to think on this. I, I might decide to move those elsewhere. Now, your installation may vary depending on what kind of a cart or side-by-side -side or whatever it is you're putting this thing in, boat. Uh, for me, I've got this 48-volt converter sitting right here. Uh, I'm going to end up mounting that elsewhere. Later, I've got to build some mounts and brackets for it to put it elsewhere. But for now, I'm just leaving it there. And the amplifier, I'm just gonna set right here next to it for now. I've got a few other projects lined up, but I do wanna lay out the cable because I'm going to mount this, temporarily at least, right up here at the center of my dash. And I've got some other projects coming, so it's not gonna be there permanently, but there is plenty of room to run it from underneath the seat, up and underneath the cart, and then put it up underneath the dash. Let's go ahead and hook this up and see what it looks like. And then I'm still considering those speakers over there. I just don't know. All right, now I got it wired up from up underneath the dash. And this is just a temporary setup. So we just went ahead and fixed it to a screw that's already in the dash. And let's go ahead and get it powered up. I've already got my DC converter hooked up, going to my little fuse box right here and the power wire run right here. And it already gets power. That's a pretty cool feature. Set that off to the side. And for now, I've got the uh, left and right channels separated here. I've got the, uh, let's see here, it's the odds, odds are right, evens are left. Odds, evens, right. 
I'm gonna confuse myself anyway. So you got one and three, two and four, and let's go ahead and hook up the speakers and get the wires run. Which means now I've gotta figure out if I'm going to put them down here, where I think it'd look really cool, but it's gonna have the wires poking out a little bit, or if I'm gonna put them up at the top. Ugh, decisions. This is why I don't go to Starbucks. So I've spent a long time putting square poles into round holes and round poles into square holes. So we're gonna see what we can do here. I'm gonna go ahead and try it at the windshield. So what I've done here is I went ahead and put one of the long, no, I put the medium sized one, the one about like yay long. So you got long, medium, short. I went ahead and picked the medium, put it right here in the uh, little handle part, grabbed one of the short ones and stuck it right here. And then what I'm gonna do is roll this thing up real tight, make a little uh, tube, if you will, and then smash it into here. We'll, we'll pull the tape off, of course, but smash it in so that it fills up the curve and smashes flat against the flat pole. This'll work, I'm sure. There we go, make a tight little roll just like that. And that might need trimmed down just a little bit and you can just peel it back. Because once this thing gets jammed in there, uh, it's not going to come undone. So once that gets nice and rolled up, it takes up quite a bit of that room. So yeah, that's probably going to have to get trimmed down just a little bit. And there we go. There were some trials. There were some errors. But uh, honestly, I got to say, that's, that's pretty strong. I'll see if I can get a picture of what it looks like in here. So it's just coiled up in there as tight as I could get it and just jammed in there, just rolled it up and smashed it flat and got it in there and then cranked the, uh, those Allens down. And it's, that's pretty secure. I, I, I don't think that's going anywhere. At least not for, you know, golf cart standards. Your mileage may vary. Now I've got the passenger side on and it's time to move on to the speaker wiring. The fun part. I have my four wires laid out and I went ahead and marked which ones are going to be on the passenger side, the, uh, the right channel. So now I've got my right channels here. I'll probably use the uh, the bullet speakers on, yeah, bullet speakers on black and white and then speaker wire for the, the kicker speakers. Now I've got all my wires run and I've got it separated for right and left sides with the tape. Couldn't find my wire loom, so I just taped it every foot or so as it was going down. Go ahead and get all these plugged into the correct spots. And now under the dash, I've got all my wires pulled through here. I'm gonna go ahead and run all of these to the correct spots. And again, got them taped so I know which one's right and left. So I've got it all hooked up. I got it playing, sounds great. And so I decided to test how much power it was pulling and found out that it was only pulling a couple amps. So I went ahead and pulled the uh, big blue out. The, uh, the little guy right here, it's just enough. But that's when I noticed I've got sound. I've got sound. I've got sound on the dash here. I've got no sound out of this speaker. So now we gotta figure out why do I not have sound out of the, the one speaker? I'm not sure how well you can see my multimeter here. I unplugged all the speakers. So we're gonna test each one of these with the multimeter and see what connections are bad and why is it not producing sound? I've got power on this one. So it's channel three that's not working. I've got power from the amp. I'm getting signal from the first connector and the speaker connection is nothing. Why? Brand new wire. Can a brand new wire be bad? Let's test another wire. Well, that was fun. Let's see if we have power now. Yay. All right, now let's see how it sounds. Let's get this all put together. Okay, so we got everything put back together. We have all four speakers working and we're gonna go ahead and play some music and see how this sounds. I think it looks pretty nice. All right, got some uh, Royalty-free music going here. Uh, you can control the volume on your phone or on the uh, little pad up there. As far as low end goes, I'm just not really hearing it. It sounds great and it does get loud. And if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that subscribe button, it would greatly help out the channel so I can keep bringing decent content to you guys and maybe some different equipment and other things. I do have another few things that I'm gonna be installing here in the next couple weeks. So look forward to those videos. And if you don't mind, no low end, it sounds great, plenty loud.
I don't see those speakers moving at all.